Hey guys, uh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and yesterday when I got back from Nuremberg, I was randomly selected at a police sta uh, train station in Dresden. These police officers came up to me and says, Hi, we're in Germany, blah, 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 we're doing police officers, do you have any ID on you? Gave them ID, and they're like, oh, I'm American, you know, looked at me, I smiled. I was angry while they were doing it because I knew it wasn't random, I knew it wasn't. And I knew it wasn't what they said it was. And I hope they count whoever made them do it. Or I hope they they said it was an emergency search because something happened. And I hope they catch whoever was responsible for it. I really do. After I was randomly selected, I was angry. I was pissed. I was super mad. Because I knew it wasn't random. I knew it wasn't anything like they said it was. Anyone who's been randomly selected knows this to be true. And if uh, I've been randomly selected multiple times when I go to the airport, or but it's never supposed to be randomly police searched at a Chinese station in Germany. I'd like to make it clear I do not hold any resentment toward these police officers or toward the German people or anything. They're not being racist, they're not being anti Semitic, I'm not Jewish, they're not being anti Middle Eastern. They're just doing a job. So please don't take it any further than a story from a young adult. Well, I would like to add to that in saying I don't hold. Uh, I'd like to clarify. Uh, clarify too. I do not hold any resentment at all. Nothing has changed about the view of Germany and the people. I still love people here. What happened? What else happened? So after I got searched. I felt angry. I felt so mad because I knew it wasn't random. Then I even saw them search other Middle Easterners, cause, and, they, and it's, it's just it's just the way it is, guys. And hopefully one day we will look back and say, you know, what we did was wrong. But people will say, oh, it's a necessary evil. People would say, it needed to be done. Uh, people would say, oh, how how would you know? You could have prevented so much. And so th those are just hypotheticals, and you really can't decide what happened. The German people, who's my point? Here's where, we, and then I thought something that I couldn't, and then I remembered something that, that calmed me down. German people and Middle Easterners have a lot in common, in the sense that when you think of Germany, what do you think about? The first thing that an average person might think about, they might think of a failed artist who turned political, or the atrocities of the Holocaust. Look at the Middle East. Look, ask, you say Middle Easterner or Muslim. Or, you know, Muslim's not right. So let's say Middle Easterner to keep the proper uh, comparison. What do you think about? You think about 9 11. You want to think of the sand of people's asses. You don't think about, for both cases, you don't think about the positive contributions they did to science, humanism literature, ethics, it's just the way it is. I have to keep this video short. I'm sorry, so I'm kind of honestly collecting my thoughts. They don't think about the positive thoughts of each one. And hopefully one day we can move as a society, we've mature enough, even when such atrocities happen, we don't blame the whole people, the whole race of people. I'm sorry, I'm still emotional about this. I wanted to make the video as, as soon as it happened, but I was too emotional. I couldn't do a proper video. I did a few takes earlier, but it didn't flow right. So, I have no old resentment toward German people or anybody. And I feel like Germans who know what I'm talking about, who try so hard to, of who, kids my of my generation in Germany, try so hard to be the positive light so people can start thinking of the positive contributions that Germany has did for society. Ethics, science, humanism and literature, instead of the negatives. And I know many Middle Easterners who are trying so hard to do that for the Middle East. So many Africans, so many Southeast Asians, so many Japanese, so many Australians. People who are sick and tired of seeing the negatives hearing people thinking the negatives of their country before they think of the positives and they want to be that change 
and I commend those people. And again, I had it's the German people and the Middle Eastern people have a lot in common. And I hope that as a society we may move on forward from this negative thinking of negative stereotypes. Alright guys, it's seven o'clock in the morning here and I'm gonna go for a run. Choose.